The Eel River is the, is the third largest river in California. Historically, it supported the third largest salmon runs in the state. Those runs declined precipitously from the late 1800s through the 1960s or 70s uh, for a bunch of different reasons. We massively overharvested these animals in the late 1800s. We had large scale timber operations, large scale landscape alteration, both in the headwaters and in the estuary. We've had impacts from climate change. Uh, all those effects kind of suppressed the population from you know, over a million salmonids in some years down to you know, 10,000 or some very small number of, of fish, like less than 5% of their historic population. So today we're starting with this highly suppressed population. Well, this introduced predator, uh, pike minnow, was introduced in the 1980s and we feel like that's kind of, they're not responsible for the decline of salmon, but they are an impediment to their recovery. They eat them, they consume them across the main stem, but they also alter their behavior. Our project team has been working to manage pike minnow now for over seven or eight years. You know, the Weot tribe really has led a lot of this work. They started a, a large pike minnow management uh, and suppression program in 2018, both to like understand what the population of pike minnow is, what their distribution is, what their density in the river is, and also how they're affecting native fish. So the Weot leadership has been huge and we, we joined that team to support them. We have a lot to learn about how to, how to manage pike minnow, like what the, what the long-term goal is. So we're exploring this in, a, in an experimental framework. We're not just killing fish willy-nilly. I mean, we respect pike minnow. They're actually amazing animals. It's not their fault they're here. They were introduced here and they're having an impact. And so we're trying to do something about it. The recovery of the Eel River is, is a long-term effort. It's gonna take a lot of different kinds of work across the whole watershed. Pike minnow are only one part of this problem. We have a lot of other work to do across the watershed. We have to restore the estuary. We have to manage the Eel River dams. We have to think about the long-term legacy effects of, of timber harvest in the watershed. While we're managing pike minnow, we're using a couple different tools to do that. We have a weir that's installed in the south fork of the Eel River that prevents their upstream migration, allows us to capture and remove a lot of pike minnow. We're also using active suppression across the watershed. Our team, including the Weot Tribe and Stillwater Sciences and UC Berkeley and CDFW. So those are some of the different tools we're using, uh, but there also needs to be a lot of work in the estuary of the Eel River. We know the estuary is essentially the, the most important place for growing uh, all of our anadromous fish. It's where they've, where you have the highest growth potential. Every animal passes through the estuary and it's been highly modified. There's levees across a lot of the lower estuary. A lot of the rearing habitat has been lost and there's a lot of restoration that can be done there to improve the resilience and the health of this watershed.